people fight for the Filipino people. That's right. How can we live without rice? Exactly. But did you know that if we go to the market today, rice prices are sky high. During this pandemic, that is just cruel. Really? But that would be a jackpot for our rice farmers. Great market price would bring great income from their harvest. Oh, not at all. Unrestricted rice importation due to Republic Act 11203, also known as the Rice Tariffication Law, causes income poverty to our farmers. Due to your appealing import rice, people would opt to buy these rice instead of locally produced ones. Could be, but probably this is just for now. Maybe in the long run, we could have competitive local farmers in terms of rice quality. And besides, Republic Act 8800, also known as Safe Gardeners Act, will help protect our farmers affected with the stores of import. Uh-huh, but what can we do now? Good question. We can encourage our government and policymakers to first, have intensive research for better rice varieties for the Filipino farmers. We have the Philippine Rice Institute for that. Then give this to the farmers for free. Second, provide farm loans with lowest interest. Third, provide fertilizer subsidy. And organic fertilizers today are so expensive. And lastly, I think we have to modernize our farming techniques. This is just some, I think. Right, but well, let me add to that. As the farming technology evolves, I believe that proper training of farmers is very essential. Farming today is not just about growing seeds in the soil, but there is science behind it. Farmers equipped with science, that would be bountiful. I can't agree more. Cool, let's propose these to our local policy makers. Let's go.